is the force. Hey everybody, will you join me on a stony and rainy day with a the steamy visor look as you can see. Just open that up. Mm, lovely. Hello, hello everyone. I'm for no apparent reason again just trying this out. Um, I've been really busy this week, so I haven't had a chance to make any nice videos in nice weather for you, sadly. So I'm out having a bit of fun now while I can. But I'm going to talk about a few things that have come up lately. Um, the first thing I'm going to start with is what some people said about in my last video, some comments um, about me leaving my headlights on on full beam while I'm driving around. Now there is a very good reason for this. The reason is because the high beam on this bike is probably the equivalent of a normal standard beam on most other bikes. Uh, it is rubbish. So I really don't think it's that big of an issue to uh, to have you know, the high beams on. Um, also I'll add to that, not only are they very weak and you know crappy, but also mine is aligned properly so it's down and to the left. So, you know, unless you really stare at the light, I don't see anyone getting dazzled by it. Um, and that's why that is. So, yep, I do ride my full beams on, but it's not like I'm blinding the shit out of everyone with laser beam freaking lights. It's just very weak and you need to have it on that high. Why do I want to have it on that high? Well, if you remember uh, my crash last November, in that crash, I, uh, I had my full beams on and the man still didn't see me, so, you know. So, uh, yeah, as I say, I, I need to have them on for safety. What else have we got to talk about? A few people have asked me um, in the past few, sort of couple, about a month or so, how are things going since the crash? Uh, maybe they've realised that, you know, it's been nearly a year now because it was the 13th of... Oh, 13th, that was fucking deep, 13th of uh, November, last year it happened, so it's nearly been a year. Much a softo, oh god, oh no, it's getting stuck, that's stuck, ah, that... oh, come on. There we go. The fuck was I talking about before? Yes, it's been nearly a year since the crash. Um, my knee has really been hurting a lot lately, although it is sort of getting better. I can't kneel on it yet. I sort of a try and it's just like, ah, because it's very hypersensitive in some areas and numbish in other ones, but it's also very sore um, because there's still the skin attached to the lower layers. And every now and then the little lesions, one of them like comes unstuck, it tears. And you can tell it's going because it's really stingy and then it, you just feel this little tink and it's like, ah, mm, mm, oh, the pain. But yeah, now that's getting a bit better. My thumb in the past week or two has really been hurting me as well. And that's crap because that is already a little bit messed up for the fact that the operation was done so late that the uh, ligament had shrunk. So when they did it all back up, it became too tight. And they warned me I was almost guaranteed to get arthritis in it. But it's starting to... I'm not saying I've got arthritis yet. I'm just saying it's starting to complain less than a year later. of Just, you know, soreness from using it. Um, so I'm actually... I'm going to have to go back to the hospital and have them to re-look at it. To see what the fuck is up with the thing. And if there's anything they can do to alleviate the pressure on it, maybe. Or something. I don't know. So... Okay, I mean, I did lose some movement in it. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, I have mentioned that before, I think. I lost basically some of the flex. I can't flex it as much as I used to be able to. And that's again to do with this tight ligament. So, <laughs> fuck it, whatever. I'm, as long as I'm out riding, I'm happy. And it's not stopping me doing that. Although, as I say, my knee standing at work is becoming quite a bit of a pain in the arse. Well, pain in the knee, to be honest. I want to go and play in the sand. Multi-angle sand. Right, okay. We need to reposition the camera. Let's have a look. Uh, right, this is low beam. This is high beam. I don't. I don't need two cameras to do this. Whoa! That hang on. Ooh, what's going on? Um, yeah, that's it. It's not very bright. That's high beam. I'm not joking. That is on high beam. There we go. That only took about ten minutes. Yes, yeah, so as I say, the headlight. I'm not really dazzling people. I know I should dip it and all that, but I'm afraid. 
I need to be seen more, um, and it's not so bright that they can't, you know, if they, well, if they fucking stare at it, it's your own fault for getting dazzled. But it's not that bright. It's not like it's going to easily just like, oh my god. It's really not. I'd love it for it to be a bit brighter. And yes, I know I can get stronger bulbs and all these sorts of things you can do for it, but nah. I'll just use high beam. Now, for some fun in the sand. Oh shit. Oh, by the way, do you, do you like the heat wave? Do you like this heat wave? You know, it's, oh, fucking hell, it's so hot. Oh, it's just, it's, it's just unbearable. <laughs> all, this, all this nice weather we're supposed to be having. And yeah, uh, <laughs> it's just turned into sea mist and cloud. I knew it would. I knew, oh, hello, come on. It's entertaining. Let's go up here. Paddle boarding, eh? You can't see him with his man paddle boarding out there. Into the mists. The seamen mists. What else have I done really recently? Oh, I've got GTA 5, by the way. I uh, 360 before anyone asks my Freaking friends list is absolutely jammed. The, day, the username is Daisy Stepping with a space. It's all been spoken about before. I'm hardly ever on there. Um, and obviously GTA is only single player at this point, so we can't really do anything. But I'm just saying, I've got that game and I'm thinking it's fucking amazing. There's no, no steering control here at all. It's just sliding around. <laughs> oh, but it is great fun. I'm, where am I in the storyline? I'm just about to steal the um, the submersible. So there you go, that's where I am, roughly. I haven't really played it all that much, but... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, the gate's closed. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, we got that way, that way. One thing I will say that I was really disappointed with on GTA was um, you get a dirt bike, you don't seem to be able to change the dirt bike wheels into supermoto wheels because oh, that would have been fun. I'm going to supermoto on there. Is there one on there? I don't think there is. It, oh, the other thing, God, I can't forget about that, is the fact that very soon I'm going to be reaching 17,000 subscribers, which, if you remember rightly, was my little goal because that's how many people live on this island. And that is fucking insane. How is that? There are that many people. How have you all come this way? 17,000 people! I've been like trying to get my head around it, and then as I say, that's why I was like, my new target would be how many people live on this island. And I've reached it. How long before I hit 20,000? Who knows? But the one thing I do want to say is thank you from the bottom of my heart to everyone. Thank you to everyone who goes to the effort of commenting and liking and subscribing and, you know, and sharing my videos, because that's all the little things that really help grow my channel. Um, and it's made some really good changes in my life, starting to vlog, so I want to continue it. Keep things going. Come on, let's get more people on board. I know, we go for a new multi-angle. Oh, hang on. Oh, look at that. What happened there? Check out my angle, bitches. Now, the only thing is, I'm thinking this is going to be very bumpy. <laughs> No, that doesn't really work, does it? It was a great idea and all that, but it doesn't really work. It's very, very bouncy. You know, you're just going, oh my God, I'm having a fit. Let's go, <laughs> hang on. No, can I get through here without taking my camera off? Come on. Lean her over. There we go. I've never had to really consider that before. It's, I can stabilise it with one hand though. There you go, now it's cool. Hey look, just riding down the road. Uh, Yoo-hoo! Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll extend you out, shall I? Oh yeah! That's got the extension. Oh, hang on, I think there's another one. Oh, hello! What is this? 
What is this? What this is, is this is illegal. Most likely illegal. Now look at the wangle. As we go off-road before I fucking crash and destroy the camera. No, there we go. Stabilization at work. What am I doing? Look, my foot is on the... Look, look, it's a continuous scraping shot. Yeah. Fucking yeah. Oh, this is just fucking stupid, right? Um, let's just... just Oh, masking tape's stronger than you think. I have a camera on a stick, multiple angles. <laughs> well, today I'm riding around like a prat one-handed on, on, on some sand. Oh shit, there's sand. Look, see, sand. Um, it's, it's all good. We, well, I'm not going to crash. I'm going to just keep my foot on the back brake, and if anything happens, I'll stall. <laughs> it's, you see, I might have 17,000 subscribers, but it's moments like this that I'm like, why am I doing this? It's not nice out, and I'm driving around with a camera on a stick. Silly. Silly. Motorcycle jousting could be done. I know uh, it made Marenko very happy. He's always said to me about doing jousting. Marenko, uh, rock guy, yeah? Rock! He, um, he wants me to do jousting on a motorbike. Now, I think this is pretty fucking dangerous. Plus, I've got to find someone else to do it with. No, I'm not going to do it. Don't be... Let me to adjust the camera... There we go. Let's go for some go for some low ground shots. There we go. Oh yeah, see? This is the way that a motorcycle wheel looks when you ride around. How close to the ground can we go? Really fucking close. Can we smash our screen? Yes, probably. Let's go onto the tarmac. Let's go for a back shot. Look at that. You see? Right, okay, we're going for crutch cam. Experience the ride as my nuts. Right, well I, uh, right, well I don't know what this has ended up being. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've got days off soon, um, so I'm going to go out and make some videos and stuff. And I've got a couple of reviews of Musket down. I want to get the ghost review done soon. I've got a holiday soon. I've got some time off. I'm going to try and do some interesting things of some sort. Hopefully, <laughs> everything's failing lately. Anyway, I'll catch you all next time if I'm not dead. Thanks, buddy. Did that, and they, uh, yeah, <laughs> they did it for £300 again, so fucking bargain. Right, hold on. Jesse needs some juice. Mm, you love a Jesse, don't you? Mm. Oh. £6.04 for 4.32 litres at 139.9 pence per litre. Oh, that rip off.